Hello everyone, welcome to API testing part 5 series. If you have not watched the previous series, please go and watch them. Before we begin, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. Let's talk about collection today. So let's understand what is collection, how do we create a collection and what are the different operations that we can perform on collections. Let's begin. In the previous videos, we had created couple of requests. So today we will understand how collection works. Collection is basically a group of requests. Majorly, it is kind of a folder that you create. Suppose if you are watching any movie, you will put all the movies uh, related to, uh, you know, movies where you will put it under one folder. So in the same way, we can also organize our uh, collection so only we can create a request after creating a collection so if there are two ways with which we can create collection one is by clicking on the new collection here we will get the uh, you know uh, new collection data so here, here we can uh, give a name as test new collection So here we can create a collection. So if you want to add any description, you can add it here. You can come here and then click on edit. And then if you can, uh, suppose if you are creating a login collection uh, for a particular application. So you can say login functionality uh, related, related APIs. Okay, so this is, uh, you know, a small description about what this collection is about and another way how we can create our collection is by clicking on this new after clicking on new we will get an option to create a collection before that one thing you have to know is what is workspace workspace is kind of a project under one workspace we will be having multiple collections in the same way under one collection we will be having multiple apis or requests okay so uh, if i click on collection again i will get the same uh, way where i can rename this collection okay otherwise if i don't want i can just leave it as it okay i can see done so uh, this is one thing and we have multiple other options like share, move, run collection, edit. So edit is understood that if I want to edit the collection name, we can click on edit and then we can edit it. Also, we can add a request and we can add a folder. How to add a folder? If I click on um, add a folder, right? So suppose if we are running different types of tests, like if I want to run smoke test, at that time, I can create a folder under this and I can run this particular collection. So right now, we don't have any requests. So if I want, I can add a request as well. But right now, uh, we can we got to know that we can create a collection and under that, we can create multiple folders too and we can segregate it. And uh, let's see other options. And uh, monitor collection and mock collection, we will go, uh, we'll see it later. And the other thing, what I want to uh, tell you is about the export functionality. Suppose if you want to share your collection to any other person, okay, at that time, what you can do is you can click on export. Export will uh, export all the request and all the body of the request, everything it will export into a file so i can click on export here and i can say that the collection one i will say because test collection postman is already been there so now it got exported correctly now if you want to share it to another person or another qa you can directly share that particular file and you can easily ask them to import it let's also import the collection if we, if i click on import here and i can choose a file i will choose this particular file and then click on open we can see that it it, it says that test collection 
if I want to import if I click on import it asks me import as a copy because it is already uh, the same folder already exists right now otherwise I can replace it so uh, since it is uh, just for a trial purpose so I'll just import it as a copy so now everything related to whatever we had in this particular test collection got imported onto the others uh, collection as well so this is one thing let me go ahead and then delete this particular collection since we don't need it right now and another feature is run collection what happens is if you want to run all the uh, requests you don't have to go in in each and you know to each an individual request explicitly and click on run so rather than doing that you can uh, holistically run this particular collection which executes all these three requests present under this collection even if there is a folder under that it will also execute or run the collection so if I click on run collection it says that we can see here is the order we can uh, interchange this order as well if I want to you know post this and then like this we can interchange this as well order so based on this order only the collection will run and you can see iteration how many number of times the request or this collection should run and next is delay let me give a delay of two seconds suppose if the uh, two milliseconds okay suppose a uh, one request will run and after that there will be a delay of two milliseconds and then it will run a next collection okay and simply I'll click on run collection so now we can see that 200 what is the response code and then what is the response code as well as the uh, how many milliseconds it took all the details will be displayed in here and uh, you can see it says that no tests in this request what does it mean suppose uh, if I go to any request we have a tests here so we have not written any test for that reason it says that uh, no test in this request so we can also view all the requests or uh, all the runs whatever we have already requested how many times we have run this and on what day we have run this all these details we will get under this runs okay and uh, going back here we have another option with which we can run it if I click on run again this will again generate or it will again run and then it will generate this report and now if I go to view all runs you can see that uh, what how many ever times we have run all that will be listed under this so finally we saw how to run the collection we have another option to share a collection if you want to share a collection you can go ahead and share this particular collection too and one another option is we have something like favorite right if I click on this favorite this will keep this uh, particular collection at the top that is one another feature that we can uh, perform on a collection so this is all about collection what is collection and different types of actions that we perform on a particular collection if you like this video please do like share and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching bye bye